The universe is space and all the matter and energy in it. There are several major components of the universe, which are galaxies, stars, solar systems, and planets. Throughout our lesson, we're going to break down each component of the universe in more detail. The Big Bang Theory is basically the theory of how our solar system came to be. It is the expansion of space, time, matter, and energy that most astronomers think gave rise to the universe as we see it today. In the picture below, you'll see a lot of black matter and then a lot of stars. Well, each one of those lights is not just one star, it's actually um, billions of stars, which are called galaxies. The Big Bang Theory also thought to have expanded in seconds from something as small as a speck of dust to the size of our solar system. So the Big Bang Theory basically is the expansion of space and time through an explosion creating what we know as the universe. Edwin Hubble is a scientist and he determined that other galaxies exist besides the Milky Way, which is our galaxy. He also observed that galaxies were moving away from each other. In the picture below, you see the Hubble Space Telescope, which was carried into orbit by a space shuttle in 1990. It recorded some of the most detailed visible light images ever, allowing a deep view into space and time. For a galaxy, a galaxy is a large group of stars, often with gas and dust, and dust, typically containing millions to hundreds of billions of stars. So a galaxy is a large, massive group of stars. A star is a hot ball of gas, which generates energy in its core by nuclear reactions. There are around 100 billion galaxies in our universe. Our galaxies are held together by the gravitational attraction of all stars on one another. Most large galaxies seem to have supermassive black holes in their centers. There are three major types of galaxies, spiral, elliptical, and irregular. Let's take a look at each one of these galaxy types. For the three types of galaxies, the spiral galaxy has arms of stars, gas, and dust that curve away from the center of the galaxy in a spiral pattern, as you can see in the picture above. The picture above is actually um, the Milky Way galaxy, which is the galaxy that we live in. If you look at the picture, you can see that the red dot is showing where our solar system is located in our galaxy. So our sun and solar system are basically located in one of our inner arms of the Milky Way galaxy. Another type of galaxy is the elliptical galaxy, which is shaped like a sphere or an egg and has almost no dust or gas between stars. This type of galaxy contains old stars.
The third type of galaxy is an irregular galaxy, which has faint galaxies without a definite shape. These are often smaller than the other types of galaxies, and they contain fewer stars. Looking at the picture below, you can see our solar system. Well, our solar system has our sun in the center, and then all of our planets, asteroids, comets, meteors, and any other space debris orbit around our sun. So our solar system is basically the sun and all the things orbiting it, including the eight major planets, their satellites, and all the small pieces such as asteroids and comets. Our solar system formed around 4.6 billion years ago. Solar systems are found in galaxies, and there are many galaxies found in the universe. When we're talking about the solar system, there's basically some historical scientific models of our solar system. There's what we call the heliocentric model and the geocentric model. In the picture below, you see the heliocentric model, which has the sun in the center of the solar system and all of the planets are orbiting around. Well, the heliocentric model simply means sun center. Helio means sun, centric means center. This is the theory that the sun is in the center of the solar system and the planets, asteroids, and comets orbit around the sun. The scientist that came up with the evidence to support this theory is Copernicus and Galileo. The heliocentric model of the solar system is our current theory of our solar system. So this is what we currently believe um, and have evidence to support that our solar system looks like. However, we didn't always think this. Humankind did not always think that the heliocentric model was this um, model for the solar system. Before the heliocentric model, people believed in the geocentric model, which means Earth center. The geocentric model is the theory that the Earth is in the center of the solar system and the sun, planets, asteroids, and comets orbit around the sun. Ptolemy is a scientist that came up with this idea, and he pictured the solar system looking something like this, showing that the Earth was in the center of the solar system and all the other planets and the sun orbit around. However, we know that Copernicus and Galileo were more accurate with the heliocentric model of the solar system. Planets are a major object which orbits around a star. The sun is the star in our solar system and our planets orbit around the sun. In the solar system, there are eight such objects which are traditionally called planets. Inner planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, meaning they're closer to the sun. And outer planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, meaning they are farther away from the sun. Inner planets are close to the inside of the solar system, meaning they're near the sun. Inner planets are also called terrestrial planets because they have a rocky structure like Earth. If you look at the picture, you can see the layers of Earth, and you can also see that Venus, Mars, and Mercury also have similar layers to the structure of those planets. You can also see in the picture the difference in size of each planet. 
you can see that Mercury is the smallest of our inner planets, then Mars, Venus, and Earth is the largest. Outer planets are at the outside of our solar system, so they're farther away from the center. Outer planets are also called gas giants because they are made of gas. Looking at the picture below, you can see the different gases that make up each layer of the outer planets. You can tell that there are lots of hydrogen, helium, methane gas, ammonia, water, rock, and ice that form these outer planets. Also, if you look at the picture, you can see the size of Earth compared to these planets. So the outer planets are much larger than the inner planets. Looking at the picture, you can see that Jupiter is our largest planet, followed by Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. All right, for your summary for today, you just need to make sure that you know about the Big Bang Theory. You need to know what the Big Bang Theory is. You need to have a good understanding of the universe, galaxies, and planets, along with the differences between the heliocentric theory and the geocentric theory of our solar system.